And we're back with WHHI Daily News and Marcus Tanner. As you know, he's the executive mm -hmm. director of Second Helpings. Yes, he is a very, very busy man. And so for you to take <laughs> some time to come and, and yes, share, we appreciate it because well, you've got a lot of news. Yeah, we're so thankful to be here and what you guys do for us in the community about pushing out there. Uh, yeah, a lot of things are going on. Uh, we started this new initiative that's taken about a year and a half to kind of put right. into practice. So what we've done is we've gone out and we've spoken to all of our agencies all over all three counties and we've asked the questions, you know, what do you need? How can we help? What are we doing? What are things that we could be more intentional of right. to help you meet more of the needs of your people? And now we know exactly how many people they serve each week, each month. And we also know every pound of food we pick up on each mm -hmm. truck for the last year and a half. So we're able to allocate that. So instead of just pulling up and dropping off food, we can give them a specific amount that will go towards meeting the needs of their people. So that was a pretty big initiative. <laughs> yes, I mean, to really orchestrate that and, and you're calling it the fair and equitable distribution yes, of this rescued food. Yes, ma'am. So how long has that been in the in the works? So when I took over, uh, just right at two years ago, I just began to ask questions like, hey, what do we do? How do we do this? What's, right. you know, making sure that, you know, I didn't want to change anything right away, but mm -hmm. just wanted to find out, you know, how can we make things more, more efficient? efficient right. And everybody began to say, you know, you know, we just drop off food and it's and not just dropping know. off food. It's helping people, but, but there's a better way. Right. And we don't want to waste food. Yes, ma'am. So, and this allows for okay. every pound to go where it needs to. Okay, perfect. Yes, so you've, so how many agencies are you? 57 across all <laughs> three service areas. So that's Beaufort County, Jasper County. And Hampton County. And Hampton County. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Fantastic. All yes, right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's jump into, um, you have a food drive coming up on yes, November 14th. So yes, ma'am. So, uh, Wahi, they came to us and said, hey, we want to help. Uh, we want to raise awareness for that, you know, Hunger has a local address. So what they're doing is they've got two locations, one here on the island at Steinmark and one in Bluffton at the Kroger on Belfair. Okay. So we're going to be set up in those two locations from 11 to 3. Uh, come by, drop off food, do the buy one, get one. Uh, but yeah, just really pushing it out there because this is a simple way for the community to get involved. And now more than ever, it's easier to help so many people. And what kind of food? Uh, Non-perishables. Okay. Uh, so they go into uh, actually Kroger or Steinmark uh, or bring from, bring from home. You know, yeah, anything right. that, you know, that, that, that you anything. would have, <laughs> that you pick up, that you would eat, uh, that's what we're asking for because you know, we're not picky, but we just want to make sure that we're able to provide as much food as we can. And that'll be from 11 to 3 at both yes, those locations. I'm actually a member of Wahi, and wonderful. it's their, their difference makers group yes, that's responsible yeah, for this. So that's that's wonderful, wonderful for yes, November and, and as we move into Thanksgiving and how grateful yes, we are for Second Helpings well. and all you do for our community. So speaking of Thanksgiving, there's a couple of community meals available. Yes. Right. Yes. So, uh, uh, so I've been here for two years now and I've been a part of two. Uh, and I was so, I'm looking forward to this, this third one. Uh, you know, they started with the Lacos and with uh, St. Andrews by the Sea, the, you know, the mm -hmm. United Methodist Church. Uh, they do so much in the community. But what this does is Hudson's, Andrew there, uh, he's held this every year and it's just his way of giving back to the community. I know. And it's a great fundraiser. It's a great way to come together as a community to break bread, you know, and, and have fellowship within the community. And it really does go to a really good uh, purpose of helping Bluffton Self-Help, helping us and also Deep Well, three of the, the key action makers in the community uh, that allows us to give back so much. So if you go to Hudson's, so anybody can go to Hudson's yes, on Thanksgiving anybody. Day to eat. Yes, ma'am. But is so then the, the, they get give a donation. Yes, is that We've then got, it comes back? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We've got uh, donation jars everywhere at every table. People give oh, what they okay. can. Okay. Uh, and every bit of that goes back into the community. Uh, it's a free lunch, uh, but it's really designed to bring people in so that they can do whatever they need to to give back and help the community. And they've done that for several years, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I don't know I don't, how long. I, I don't know but either. But it's been but, a long time, and they've really been making a big difference I mean, in the community. To provide a, a Thanksgiving yes, dinner at no cost. Yes, ma'am. It's pretty amazing. And the, the other part of that is anything that's left over is going to go towards St. Andrews by the Sea Soup Kitchen and also okay. St. Andrews Kitchen in Bluffton. Okay. So that way it goes back into the community and they will continue to use that to help everybody in need. Right. Thank you so much, yes, Marcus, for everything yes, you're doing and your service, your leadership, your service in the military mm -hmm. years ago. Yes, uh, you're doing such a great job. Well, we're thankful. And uh, we're, one, one last thing, we're pushing yeah. out our year in letter uh, just to say really thank you to the community for what they do and, and just let them know that it's so much easier now than ever to really make a difference. And uh, for every $1 that we take in, that's over five meals that goes back into the community. So you don't have to give a lot to give a lot, uh, but it does make a difference. Every dollar counts. Well, Second Helpings is blessed to have you. Marcus Tanner, who's the executive director. Thank you, Wonderful. Marcus, and happy Thanksgiving to yes, you. Yes, ma'am, you too. And we'll be right back.